Over the past few videos, we've learned how to install and use a package from the NPM registry. What you should know is that our installation of this uppercase package is local to our My Custom Package project, meaning we installed it into the local node modules folder within the project. This allows us to import the package and use it in our code. Now, some packages published to the NPM registry are meant to be used as standalone command line applications. Such packages are intended to be run from a terminal and not used directly in code like a local dependency would be. If you've worked with React on the front end, a good example is the Create React App command line application, which is used to scaffold out a React project. For Node.js, a very popular globally installed package is Nodemon. In npm.js, let me search for nodemon. You can see it is a simple monitor script for use during development of a node.js application. It automatically restarts the node application when file changes in the directory are detected. The recently introduced watch mode in node.js does the same for us, but this is a package that has served node.js developers for a long, long time. Let's pay our respects by learning to use it in this video. Now Nodemon is a package intended to be used from the terminal. The command to install is npm install dash g nodemon. The option dash g instructs npm to install the package globally to your system path. That will allow us to run the package from the command line regardless of where you run the command from. So back in VS Code, you can run sudo npm install dash g nodemon. Of course, sudo is not required if you're on a Windows machine. Once the installation completes, we can run nodemon index.js. You can see nodemon is being used in the terminal instead of being used in code. We see the output. Hello Vishwas, welcome to Code Evolution. I can make a small change in our log statement by adding an exclamation, save the file, and you can see Nodemon automatically restarts the application. We see the updated output with the exclamation sign. Now it is very important to note that global packages are not listed as a dependency for a single project. And because of this, Running npm install will not install the package. Global packages have to be installed on their own by every single developer in the team. On a side note, to uninstall a global package, run npm uninstall dash g followed by the package name, nodemon in this case. Global packages are primarily utilities and tools written in Node.js, which can help us during development. Please make sure you understand the difference between installing local and global packages. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.